What is going on everybody? It is the Chick-fil-A Cows here bringing you some Madden 25 Ultimate Team and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my lineup on Xbox One for the very first time. Coming in at my offensive line I have Joe Staley, Josh Sitton, Nick Mangold, and Alex Boone and I probably do need to get a new right tackle who is I think Tyson Clabo at the moment. Clabo hobo whatever I don't know I don't, I don't know I need a new right tackle I just replaced my other Joe Staley the duplicate I used right tackle he was a 97 because as you can see if you put him there he would be a 97 but I got rid of him I just didn't want another duplicate and plus he was selling for 25k more on Xbox one so I thought that was a pretty good deal now fullback is the exact same don't use a fullback in the formation with my offensive scheme so I just use it for the 13 speed run Marshall Folk is my running back still and my backup is Eric Dickerson 97 truck now really quick about him he has 97 trucking and on Xbox 360 that dude would truck everybody I mean everybody but for some reason on current gen he does not do not current gen on next gen my bad he does not truck anybody I've only trucked about four people since I used him it almost seems to me like EA made it where certain cards that were almost like cheat sheets they were so good on 360 got dialed back a little bit for next gen now I don't know if you guys have noticed that also but it seems to me Dickerson's just not the same running back he was on 360 as he is on Xbox one just not as good a little disappointing thinking about selling him because I mean he used to be amazing but he just can't do anything on Xbox one he goes for like 50k now so I don't know you guys let me know if you feel like certain cards just aren't as powerful as they used to be now pass offense I've only made about one change Jerry Rice 99 overall you guys already saw that Des Bryant Jordy Nelson is clutch as always love him to death he will come up in the fourth quarter with like a fourth and two diving catch over the middle that dude is crazy now Antonio Gates 96 13 no 11 my bad 11 speed run 11 zone defense love it 92 catch in traffic 92 catch and spectacular catch 88 with 86 speed he basically is the same as uh the jimmy graham i was using the 90 but his catching is better and the zone defense so i was like you know i'm gonna have to go with this now rg3 is an 84 i tried out the 95 one for a little bit but there wasn't that much of a difference like it just I used them and I was like there just isn't a hundred and forty thousand coin difference in these cards like it was a little bit of a difference but I mean in gameplay you know in the way I played yeah his speed was like plus three I think or something like that it just you know getting to the edge beating defensive linemen or linebackers it didn't really feel like I could do it any better I know it may sound crazy but it just to me was not worth the hundred and forty thousand so I went back to the 84 which is a card I've used pretty much my entire ultimate team series since xbox 360 now defense is the same i need a new defensive tackle too because i run a lot of dime and barry cofield not getting the job done and probably need a new right in i've been thinking about deacon jones you guys let me know if the 99 deacon jones is worth it or not he's going for like 45k now on xbox one so definitely thinking of getting him now chad greenway i only use him because of the plus 10 to zone defense because I don't use a left outside linebacker in my formation. Normally run dime or dollar. Very rarely I'll run 4-3. It's 4-3 under normally. But, uh, you know, so I normally don't use him. But even when I have used him, dude, this card, I'm not saying you go get it. I'm not saying that at all. But it is, he will come up in the clutch. Like, I had him get a game-saving interception one time, which was crazy. So, I don't know. I'm not saying go get him, but he can fill the spot and do a pretty good job because I didn't want to spend a ton of coins on getting a card I was never going to get to use. Now this is my pride and joy. The ball hawking secondary does not even describe this. Charles Woodson, 99. Absolutely crazy. You guys know I mentioned him. I was wanting him. I was dying to get him. Well, I got him. And his 95 play rec, 95 press, and 95 speed. This dude likes 95. And man coverage at 96 and zone coverage at 96. And his tackling's great. Like, this dude got like he got three picks in one game for me he was that good and also he will crash into the backfield and tackle running backs before they even get going his first game first two plays handoff to the running back Woodson was right there and tackled him before he could even get going two plays in a row and this guy can tackle a whole lot better than his 71 or 72 tackle justifies love him to death along with Deion Sanders prime time in the second spot 99 cornerback 
99 speed, 99 man coverage, 99 zone defense, 98 play recognition. I only put him in the second because of the press. I wanted a big physical cornerback at number two. And at 98 in the third spot, Champ Bailey. I just like that card. It just looks cool with the reflection of the stadium and the helmet. It just looks bad. I mean, and you know what I mean when I say bad. I mean good. And it just, I mean, he will come up clutch. He's had a few diving interceptions to win games for me. So he's definitely a fourth quarter player with 95 play rec, 98 man coverage. And his tackle's not very good, but, you know, he'll get the job done sometimes at tackling. But definitely using him in coverage is what he is made for. And that's why I put him in the slot. Deshaun, go actually hold up. Deshaun, we're going to come back to you. First off, Cam Chancellor, 95. This dude for like 10K was a steal with 95 hit power. His stats are a lot like the Brian Dawkins, the 99. They're not quite as good, especially zone coverage, but the 95 hit power was why I wanted Dawkins, and I was like, why don't I just save 100k and get Cam Chancellor? He's caused a few fumbles for me. Definitely like him, but actually, but yeah, we're going to come back to Deshaun again. So, Janikowski at kicker, punter is Andy Lee, return to Dion, and my coach is Chip Kelly for the 10 speed run. We're back to Deshaun Goldson. All right. So I put you off long enough. You deserve the prime spot on my team. Now, you guys are probably thinking, why am I going nuts over Deshaun Goldson? Well, I'll tell you why. Deshaun Goldson has 95 hit power. You're like, oh, okay, that's just the same as Cam. No, it's not just the same as Cam. Deshaun Goldson, since I've gotten him, has caused eight fumbles, maybe more. Eight is all I remember. I remember specifically eight. He might have even caused more. And... Actually, no, eight is are the fumbles that he's caused that we've re I've recovered. He's probably caused more than eight. He has eight fumbles, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just saying it so many times. It's crazy. His hit power, he will just lay people out. Eight fumbles and four or five interceptions now. This card for only 20K was the best buy of my ultimate team career. His coverage, do not put him in man. Do not do that at all. But zone coverage is all right. Play rec, not exactly good. Press, not very good. Speed, not very good. But I don't use him in coverage. Like, I mean, he'll be in coverage. But what I like to do, I run zone. And sure, they'll get a pass over the middle. But they got Cam and Goldson to deal with. And you get that one-two punch. I'm guaranteeing it's a fumble every time. And Deshaun Goldson, he's just crazy. Highly recommend him. Go buy him right now. He's just so clutch. I cannot say enough about this. Anyways, I'm going to get off now. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, eat more chicken, go buy Goldson, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.